Hello everyone, welcome to Keto Blogging and in this video we will be talking about the DOM size. So if you are using Blogger or WordPress then you must see a DOM avoid excessive DOM size in PageSpeed Insight test. So let's understand what is DOM size. So before that let me just copy the URL of this page and I will go to the PageSpeed Insight and run a PageSpeed test first. So let's wait. Okay, as you can see the page speed is around 99 but this page is still not past the core web vitals. So how funny is that? So let me just scroll down and when we check the lab test it is all passing the core web vitals but in real world it is not passing the core web vitals. And when I scroll down and as you can see there is very less errors. And we need to fix the image element do not have width and height attribute. So I have already made a video on this how to fix this error. So you can check this video. So here we will check out the avoid and excessive DOM size. So as you can see it has 830 elements in DOM size. So let's understand what is DOM size and how you can reduce it in your blogger and WordPress website. So for this we need to reference a WP Rocket web page and here they have explained what is DOM size. So DOM size basically the structure of your web page. So if you have root HTML tag and under that you will see head tag and body tag and under the head tag you will see like title tag and under the body tag you will see elements like h1 tag, h2 tag or anchor tag or image tag. So all the object inside the web page is considered as nodes and all the nodes sum up as a DOM size. So we can basically reduce the number of nodes thereby reducing the DOM size. So as you can see they have explained that if the total DOM size exceeds 1500 then it will flag in the page speed inside tool and if it is greater than 818 then it will flag in the GT matrix tool and they have also explained that if the DOM tree element is DOM depth is greater than 32 nodes then it will flag and so what are the impact of DOM size in page performance so they have explained that if the DOM size increase on your page then the amount of data transfer will be increased and thereby rendering time will be increased so browser will take more time to understand the DOM tree and then display the web page to the visitors and as you can see it will also increase the visitors device memory. So if a user using a low end smartphone then the time to load the web page will be higher. So we need to reduce the number of DOM element in that web page. So let's on go to the blogger website and we need to switch to the html view first of all you need to use a lightweight theme and then we need to remove all unnecessary codes in that blogger website so i have made a dedicated playlist on how to improve the page speed of your blogger website so you can follow this playlist to improve your page speed in blogger website and if you are using wordpress then you can use plugins like wp rocket pop matters plugin to improve your page speed so let's check how we can reduce the DOM size. So here we are in the post editor and I will do switch to HTML view first and then here as you can see that is a paragraph tag. So let me just hit enter here. So let's create some spacing here and as you can see there is a paragraph tag and there is added a span tag. So we don't need this span tag here. So I can delete this span tag here. So as you can see there is two DOM depth each two so we can reduce a DOM size by removing a span tag and as you can see there is a deep tag and we have the image tag here so let me just hit enter here so we don't need this deep tag so I can just remove all the deep tag from here and I can remove this last two tag so in this way you can further reduce the DOM size and you can set the height and width in this 
image tag and you can also add loading equal to lazy tag like this to improve the speed further and you can also use a webp version of the image so that it will take less size in the web page and as you can see there is a deep tag deep br deep so this is a blank deep tag so we don't need this deep tag so i can remove this deep tag from here now let's check this is the another paragraph tag so you can just hit enter to see it more clearly and as you can see there is a another span tag so let me just hit enter so you will see it clearly and as you can see there is another span tag inside the paragraph tag and they have also added the style text line left so you don't need this span tag here so i can just remove this span tag from this paragraph tag so you have to minimize the coding like this and as you can see there is a blank paragraph tag here as you can see p and closing p tag so there is no text under this tag so i can just remove this paragraph tag here so in this way you can find all the elements so as you can see there is an another image so i can just simply delete all the deep tag before the image tag and let me just hit enter here and i will remove the a tag and deep tag so let me just do it in all images okay i have removed all the deep tag before the image tag and as you can see there is a paragraph tag here and they have added a style tag like this so we don't need the text align left because by default html will take the left align so i can simply delete the style tag here and let me just find any other tag so what i can do is i will type control plus f and i can just simply search for the sections like style text alignment left so we don't need this text in any of the code so i can just remove all the style tag from here so let me just quickly do that okay i have removed all the style text alignment to left from this code so let me just remove all the space from here now let's go to the page speed inside and let's scroll off and they ask us to upload a webp image here and reduce the file size of that image and there is a option image element do not have explicit width and height so you can fix it so let's go to the image and we have not added the height so let's add the height again like this and let's add the width again like this now let me just publish this blog post from here now let's go to the page speed inside and let me just open this in a new tab now let me just copy the url and let me just hit enter and let's analyze the page after updating the blog post so before the dom size is around 830 elements so let's check what what is the dom size in the new test so let's scroll down and let me just find this option avoid dom size so i think the error is gone because it is it has gone below the limit and as you can see we will not find any error like avoid dom size so i think it is in past and as you can see there is the option avoid an excessive dom size so earlier it was red flag by the page speed inside and when i check it here as you can see avoid dom size it has gone below 850 so there is 815 elements and before there is 830 so we have reduced that 15 nodes in that web page so in this way you can fix this error avoid an excessive dom size so you have to minimize the total number of tags used on that web page and it also impact the theme code so let me just open the theme so as you can see there is a sidebar in this page or there is a header in this page and there is footer in this page so all the elements will contribute to the dom size so you can reduce the total dom size in the theme and you can reduce the dom size from your post editor
and if you are using wordpress then let me just show you how you can reduce dom size so it depends on how you design the web page so suppose let me just add a row layout here and let me just add a row layout like this and let me just add an another row layout under this low row layout and as you can see we have added some nested element here there is a row layout under this row layout there is a section here and under that section there is another row layout and in that row layout we have seen two sections so instead of adding the structure like this so you can reduce the dom size just by adding a row layout like this so let me just add the row layout here and instead of adding a whole row layout and another two sections inside the row layout i can just add the two by two row layout and i can just simply use this element whole row layout and i can just add and padding and margin to this element and i can just simply add the background color here and i can just add the padding within this sections so you have to try to reduce the number of elements used on that web page so thereby you can reduce the total number of dom size so i hope this video help you reduce the dom size and avoid dom size error in your page speed inside test and if you have any doubt regarding this then you can ask me in the comment sections and if you found this video helpful then make sure to hit the like button and i will see you in the next video and don't forget to check out the page speed playlist so it will help you improve your blogger website drastically thank you